joining us today is Candace Wolstead, who is the executive director of the Duran Chamber of Commerce. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. You have some amazing news to share. We do. It's, it's been an exciting last week and a half. Um, a donor walked in off the street, handed me an envelope of $8,000, asked me to go out and spend it um, with chamber members in uh, Lennon, Michigan, Bancroft, Michigan, and Duran, puts it in an envelope, the $50 gift cards, each, you know, each business, um, so many, and then go out and share them with the school. And so that every staff member at Duran Schools got a $50 gift card. That's incredible. And so those gift cards <laughs> and whoever did this is asking you to give it to the school members and saying, use it in town. Is that what's happening? Yes. Use it in the feeder towns and in Durand, which uh, I think that that is just incredible. You know, how many people are sitting in their office and get an envelope with $8,000 in it and told to go out and stimulate the economy? It just doesn't happen. What was your reaction to this when, when that person did this? My first thought was to go to the bank because we don't leave $8,000. That's, that's training. Can you tell? Can you go to the bank? It was cash. It wasn't a check. It was cash. It was cash. And it was cash. And so my first reaction was, are, are you kidding? And they're like, no, we, I, you know, we want you to do this. And I'm like, okay. And so we discussed the businesses. We discussed chamber members. We discussed that there should be a letter in an envelope to go with this, um, this gift. And they agreed to write it. And so I just called my husband and said, look, you're going to have to drive me from place to place <laughs> so I can get this done. Because school was resuming on the 19th. And this is the 18th. So, or, or I'm sorry, this is the 16th. So we had just a few days to get this all together. So my husband, you know, I picked him up and we started going from place to place. Do you know this person that donated the money? I do now. <laughs> Never, but didn't know before. I knew who they were. Okay. Uh, but they want to re remain anonymous. Absolutely. What did the letter say? The letter um, said that they realized how much the um, staff had gone through during the pandemic and that they appreciated it and that if they worked at the school in any capacity, they were an educator. They worked with our children. They educated our children in some way. And this was just a small token of appreciation and to go out and spend it. And if they didn't, you know, and they could exchange cards, whatever made them happy, as long as they went out and stimulated their economy and stimulated their happiness. We are very close knit. We support each other. We support our businesses to the best of our ability. And that is how Durand will always be. Lennon, who feeds into Durand schools and Bancroft are the same way. We are all a very close-knit community. We bought restaurant gift cards. We bought um, florist. We bought gas. We bought hardware. We bought hair, um, a, a hair salon. It was, it was fun. It was really fun to go in and see their faces. Um, when I would say, I would like 10 gift cards, they would, uh, $50 gift cards, they would just look at me. And a couple of them had tears in their eyes. Um, one of them told me this would pay one of their bills. I mean, it was, it was a gift to the chamber to be able to do this and to be trusted enough to do this. Lots of organizations could have done this, but they chose the chamber to do this. And that, that makes me extremely proud of our reputation and that we could go out and meet with our, with our members and do this for them. Are you surprised by all of this though? Yes, I am. I'm not surprised that someone wanted to support the businesses. I'm surprised to the magnitude that some one person decided to support the businesses. Um, 
it hasn't been easy. I mean, our major businesses in this town, in downtown and in London and Bancroft are our restaurants. So they've been closed. We've been promoting takeout. Um, one of our uh, restaurants has tents out. We've been promoting, you know, take out to help out. And so I'm very pleased for all the businesses because it has been a slow year. So is there anything specific that the donor hopes to get or start by making this donation? The donor said that they would like very much to see other districts recognize their school's um, personnel in whatever way they can. Okay. Anything else you want to say about this amazing gift that your community has received? We're blessed. We really are blessed. Um, this has been an incredible gift to everyone, to the businesses to the school, to all educators, to to me personally. It has been such a gift and we are grateful. Well, I always end every interview asking the same question and, and that is Candace Wolfsfield, what are you grateful for? I am grateful for my family, but I'm also grateful to live in my hometown. Um, they said you, you can't go home, but yes, you can. And I'm very grateful to have come home. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be a railroader again. It's better to be blue. Thank you so much, Candace. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it.